couple weeks ago, Nick showed you how to sharpen a plane iron with this strip sander and the sharpening attachment. What he did was took a vice grip and held it and put it into the uh, cup down here. I was thinking about that a little bit and it seems like you get a little bit of a radius. Me being a perfectionist, I decided that I, I'll come up with something here. So, what I've come up with is a jig that you can use. You got to take this cup off. This is what typically holds your chisel. Set that aside. Then I cut out this L-shaped bracket. It's basically a track that that's going to hold. That's going to be have the jig run through it. Uh, I've countersunk a, a carriage bolt through here, and it fits right in the same hole that that cup that holds your chisel sits in. So I'm going to screw that up. Uh, one of the things you have to do is make sure that this is parallel with your belt or your strip as it were. So I'm going to just snug it up a little bit, have it touching, and then just eyeball it to parallel because most irons, most planes, you can adjust the angle of hair. This again is just me being a perfectionist and I wish you would be too. <laughs> All right. Here's the business end of it. Here we got a smoothing plane. I've already loosened it up so that I could show you how it comes apart. Here's the chip breaker. And here's the plane. What I have done here, let's set that down, is made me a block. I've cut a groove through it and then ran a bolt. Whoops. Got a little bit of Nick syndrome there. I ran a bolt, countersunk it, ran it all the way through. And what that does for me is the bolt goes through this slot, comes out the other side with a washer and another wing nut, tightens it up, and this squeezes and holds it for me. One more thing before we go over to the strip sander is Get your engineering square or your quick square and make sure that it is at 90 degrees. Make sure it's square, everything's square, woodworking is all square. Um, this is no exception. Um, you will have to make sure that this surface and this surface are parallel, which shouldn't be too tough. So now we come over here and we'll set this in our, our slide. We'll line up the angle, which it looks like I have it pretty well. And what we're going to do, as you can see, this doesn't clear all the way across. So to uh, get a nice straight edge, what we're going to do is we're going to start on one side and bring it over and clear it. If we go back and forth, we'll have a tendency to eat out the middle of the, the plane iron and you'll defeat the whole purpose of making this jig. So that will get you a nice clean edge and it'll be straight and you'll be planing in no time at all. Well, we're going to go back to Nick and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. At Shopsmith's website, you'll find dozens of free videos on all kinds of woodworking projects, from preparing lumber to applying a finish. Twice a month, we webcast a two-hour sawdust session where you can ask questions and get woodworking help right over your computer. To find out more, come visit us at shopsmith.com.